from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, big change in the offing yesterday, 81 degrees tomorrow night heading down for freezing, but we'll see a warm up before the weekend is done. So let's take a look at the big picture across uh, much of the area. But first, we got a drone shot for you today and we have clear skies across the area. Lots of sunshine this afternoon after those morning showers made for a very nice day. Got up to 75 degrees was the official high this afternoon. Shortly after the noon hour, you can see the clouds departing off to the south and east and plenty of that soul late this afternoon. And we're going to have it the next couple of days. Lots of sunshine in the forecast, but feeling more like winter out there. And there's that front that's pushing on through all associated with an area of low pressure that's now moving up uh, into the northeast. But the trailing front really blossomed out for severe storms today. Unfortunately, for portions of Alabama into Georgia as well. Still tornado watches going. You see severe thunderstorm warnings within these tornado watches for damaging winds and there was plenty of damage. Look at all the tornado reports, wind damage reports, reports of hail. Uh, Selma, Alabama seeing uh, probably an EF2, maybe EF3 storm with damage there and extensive damage with a number of these tornadoes. So uh, once again, rough weather, especially for Mississippi and Alabama this year. Uh, Louisiana missing out on that severe weather threat and no complaints here. We do have a nice dry northwesterly flow moving in pressure gradients still pretty tight, so thus the gusty northwest winds and as temperatures drop, that's just going to make it feel that much colder for tomorrow morning. Temperatures dipping down into the lower 40s in Lafayette. Wind chills more than likely getting down into the low to mid 30s for tomorrow morning. Maybe some clouds first thing in the morning, but a mostly sunny afternoon. Temperatures struggled to get into the low to mid 50s and then with high pressure moving in and nearly overhead and nearly calm winds, we're going to see temperatures getting down close to that freezing mark and temperatures dew points close enough to allow for some uh, frost to develop for Saturday morning. So pets and plants need to come indoors over the next couple of nights. Tonight don't see a freeze, but uh, certainly there's going to be a chill in the air, especially for the pets. Upper 30s, northern portions of Acadiana will favor upper 30s to lower 40s I-10 corridor and upper 30s to lower 40s down along the coast. So nearly uniform temperatures overnight tonight. You get that when you have windy conditions. Then for tomorrow, mid 50s, the high northern portions of Acadiana mostly mid 50s as we go down to the I-10 quarter and the coastal parishes as well. And then tomorrow night we'll see a variation in our temperatures. Upper 20s, lower 30s for northern portions of Acadiana. Not pipe busting cold, but certainly a killing cold for your plants. Uh, so whatever plants are left over from that deep freeze in uh, December. And we'll go 32 to 33 across the I-10 quarter. This is going to be the coldest morning we have in the 10 day forecast for sure. And lower 30s, no wind chill here because of light winds Saturday morning, but nonetheless winter chill back with us overnight tonight. So breezy, sharply colder overall with skies generally fair. Could see some clouds rolling in toward tomorrow morning, but overall generally fair skies and tomorrow again, few clouds first thing in the morning. Otherwise, wall to wall sunshine winds eventually decrease later into the afternoon. 57 the high, so it should be a pretty nice day any way you look at it. As we move forward, Saturday, Sunday, morning frost, Saturday, upper 50 Saturday afternoon, upper 60 Sunday, and back into the upper 70s to lower 80s. And as we get into the holiday day uh, for MLK Day, we're going to see one weather system coming in. Few showers uh, Monday into Tuesday. Looks like a better chance of rainfall as we head into Wednesday. And then maybe the next weather maker arriving next weekend with an area of low pressure could get a good soaking with that, but that's further into the 10 day forecast. As you see there, temperatures overall a little bit of winter there, but then eventually getting back to more spring like temperatures, at least for several days next week and per usual in January, up and down temperatures and sinuses uh, not uh, cooperating <laughs> as well because I do have that issue, especially with changing temperature, changing yeah. pressure. Yes, I feel it in the nasal passages, even though I don't have any allergies. I do have what's called weather rhinosinusitis, okay. which is appropriate is a for a weather person. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, stock, Change up yes. weather. stock up on that butterscotch. I don't know yeah. if I've seen <laughs> well, not, not, not quite. I haven't been that bad this year. Butterscotch. So yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> butterscotch. <Okay. laughs> Thanks, Rob. Still ahead tonight.